Good morning. This is the uh, first tutorial about how to structure your architectural design. This is about object-oriented uh, modeling. It's about schemes, inheritance. Uh, it's about uh, prototypes, instances, and so on. So in uh, Blender, we will uh, look at the very basic tool for that. This is the distinction between a duplicate and a dupli link. This is how they call it. So uh, let's have a closer look how it works. We always start with a, with a circle. Uh, let's give you a hint what I'm doing. So this is our cube. And now let's have a look <coughs> at the outline here. We have this cube and we say this is our prototype. One. And now look what it inside. There is the cube. And if we go there, you see we switch to edit mode. If we go back, we switch to object mode. So this is about topology. This is about design. So this is a house mesh, house one. <coughs> So this is about the design, and this is about the instances of this design. So this is where to put these designs. So this is geometry, this is uh, topology. This is how it's built, it's constructed, this is where it is located. So topology, geometry, design, architecture. So to make it very uh, clear. So that's interesting. We have these two modes here, object edit mode. And we have uh, this uh, organization as a proxy, and this is a mesh. So let's give him uh, let's give him a new material. Like always, our principal PSDF uh, go there for an aubergine. <coughs> okay. Um, look it uh, up and uh, make it make it metallic. So and call it overlene. Good. So we see that uh, here that the material is. Uh, parented by uh, the mesh and the mesh is parented by the proxy. Good. That's our structure. Now, first is, <coughs> first method, how to make multiple of it, it's a copy and this is done with duplication. So go here and uh, duplicate that and this is a complete copy of uh, our proxy, um, the mesh, and uh, the uh, surface, the material. Which means if I, for example, change the material, no, uh, add a new material, so, so and then we say it's uh, dark uh, green glass. So give it, then we see just the copy is affected. So give it a dark green, go down with the metallic and go up with the transmission and put the IR to a proper value. So you see it's uh, just this thing. So. If it's the same thing, so we go here for the mesh and change it. For example, if we simply <coughs> uh, select this guy and move it up like this, then we have a double curve. So this is not, not proper. So X. So gay go. Here, F and F. Now we have a proper thing. This is 
just done with this copy. So it has nothing to do with this prototype. Therefore, we have to say this is prototype 2, if it's a prototype as at all. So this is mesh house 2. Mesh house 2. So because it had nothing to do with this guy here. So this is in strong contrast to make dupli links. Now go for this guy here and instead of shift D, do alt D. Now we go for Y. So now see what happens. <coughs> we have brought a copy of the proxy, but we have the same link to the house. So it's the same thing here. So if we go here, this is prototype uh, number one. If we go here, you see that the mesh has two instances. If we go here to the mesh, you see mesh house one has two instances. If we go here to mesh house two, it's only one. So but this guy has two, which means if I go in, are we already in because we selected it here, and <coughs> I'm uh, doing similar things. So, uh, for example, selecting this, uh, go up here, and then um, <coughs> make a horizontal line. F. So delete it again. X. And then. Um, B. No. Escape. B, having this and say F, then it's closed. You'll see it's working on both instances because our objects here, the two prototypes, so this is a prototype, and this is the first instance of prototype one, has the same mesh. The mesh here, if I select one of these, you see the object, it's here, it's location. This is the geometry of it, and it's linked to house one. And there are two instances of it. I also can change it. I can say, I, at this location with this proxy, I want to have house two. And now you see, it's inherited from that. Now I should change prototype two, copy one. So there. So, so how this is, how dupli, copy, uh, dupli link and duplication uh, works. Okay, let's look what we have, <coughs> and go for. Uh, architectural uh, setup to get more exercise in these things. So, um, establish, get a plane, bring it to zero, scale it by six, zero, scale it by six. So, now look at by color. So, this is one, two instances of prototype 1. This is one instance of prototype 2. So, if we want to have another instance of the same kind, then we should make uh, um, Alt D and uh, we go for X direction. No, it's no, we yeah. selected the plane. So, now we are with the prototype 1. Uh, Alt D, make a copy of that, and we have a third instance of prototype one. If we say like this, Alt D, we get an instance of that. Alt D in direction X, we are here. 
So you see how it works and we have to be clear. So how to organize the outline will be the next uh, tutorial. But here what we have. So we always have the architectural geometry. So these are the instances. So we have here we have this prototype 2 and it's a um, third element of that. Then we have the design element and then parented by that we have uh, the material. So we have the prototype, it's here, geometry. so we look at the geometry, we go for the meshes and there we see we have three instances of the same mesh. This is a database of the meshes. So we have only two meshes plus plane. So it is important if you want to have a structured graphics and you have control over these uh, elements. Don't go into the numbering, which is okay with the instances. So we have it here. And with that, we go for the uh, materials, which is here, the dark glass, and which is another database. And you see the same paradigm. Now we have two materials we have two prototypes and we have six instances so now let's make another prototype so it's not an instance it's just a prototype so go back to object mode select this guy and then say shift the d go in y direction and make this prototype and this now is alone, which means we have prototype one, which is which needs another name. So we can't go with these numbers of the instances. So we need uh, prototype uh, three. So let me look inside. So we have a copy of this mesh. Which means if we go with the prototype 3, we go here to the mesh, we have it, and now we have a copy of uh, house 1, which is an independent thing, so therefore it needs another name. So, and we can keep, if we like, the, uh, the color, because with the color we are in a separate uh, database so if we want to have a separate color then we simply say copy this aubergine then no copy it make a copy of that then we got again this number and we have to prevent that so we have to make it for example uh, <coughs> plain uh, red so, and then we can change the color, which is associated just to this object. Change the color. Uh, make it a proper red. So, and we can go up. So this is our color. No, we are here. This is our color. Now we go up to the hot three and we can add edit the um, mesh. For example, get this guy here uh, up. So if we leave that, we have this this uh, proper setup. We have the database with three colors. We have a database with three plus one mesh, and we have a database with six instances now seven instances plus plane now let's uh, look at it at uh, sun to finish this with a nice rendering the sun put it to uh, 40 degrees and uh, look how it works get the sun to three just see proper setup.
Good. Thanks for watching. I think this is one of the very basic things in architectural design, so you won't find it uh, very prominently in the discussions in Blender, which is about mostly about um, the uh, design and the creating of meshes or animations and so on. But for architectural design, this is of, of uh, uh, most importance. In the next tutorial, we will go on other methods uh, on structuring your design. Thanks for watching. See you next time.